Hello friends, welcome to the uh, sixth session of deep learning playlist. We had been talking a lot about the activation function, but I have not explained clearly on what is activation function and how does it work. There are multiple activation functions that are available which we are going to use in the coding as well and it is important for us to learn that. This session is going to be a five minute session which is going to explain you clearly what activation function is all about and most importantly what are all the types of activation functions that are available. Well, it is important as well as very easy to understand about activation function. We will go into the session right away. What is activation function? Actually, activation function will follow some layer. For example, I have convolution operation happening. I will keep an activation function followed by it. That is it. Convolution layer followed by activation layer. Remember, activation layer follows something. Now, we need to define activation layer now. What is a what is activation layer? Activation function of a neuron defines output of the neuron for the given set of inputs. I repeat, activation function of a neuron will define what the output can be for the given set of input. I will tell you what your output can be if I give you a certain set of inputs and that's what is going to be activation function. The activation function will operate on the value which can then be transformed. Remember, the major task is to transform. The activation function will operate on the value which can then be transformed between a lower limit and the higher limit. The lower limit typically in most of the cases is 0. Higher limit that we know and we are familiar with is 1. Now, it fires or not fires is the problem here. I will repeat it very clearly with a simple example so that you can understand. Now, we will understand what is sigmoid. This is one of the most commonly used uh, activation functions. Uh, but we have actually uh, gone to a different activation function called as RELU that I will talk about it a little later. But understand, sigmoid is a very simple activation function and for sigmoid, 0 is the lower limit and 1 is the upper limit. 0 is the lower limit, 1 is the upper limit. Remember, if the input is negative, if the input is negative, this activation function will transform that number close to 0. I have got negative input. I will transform it as closer to 0 as possible. Now, if the input is positive, I will transform this number closer to 1. It is positive, so I move to 1. If the input is close to 0, remember, if the input is close to 0, I will try to transform it to any value between 0 and 1. This is what is sigmoid activation function all about. I have the transformation happening for negative value to close to 0, positive value close to 1, very close to 0, I will place it in between 0 and 1. That is it is called sigmoid. Now, what is the role of activation function? This very important point to be very clearly understood. So, let us let us understand it very clearly. We are going to cross a garden. I am going to cross a garden where there are multiple nice fragrant flowers are available. So, what do we do? We like it and that is activation happening in your brain. Some neuron literally works there in the brain and it fires and it gets activated. We like it. The presence that says that, the feeling that says that you like it is nothing but activation of some neuron. Now, we are walking across a dirty place which is smelling bad. Now, another neuron will get activated and it fires. Now, that was also a neuron. This was also a neuron. It also got activated. This also gets activated. And final result is you like it, you dislike it. And both are nothing but activations. Now, it, it is what you need to understand. The firing is called one higher value. No firing is called 0. That is it. That firing is called 1. No firing is called 0. Sigmoid is the simplest example where we see we saw that closer to 1 is more activated. Closer to 0, it is less activated. That is it. If you are closer to 1, you are more activated. If you are closer to 0, it is less activated. That is it. Now, the neurons in the brain are the literal example for how the activation functions work. They get activated and they fire. That is it. That is the same way things work here. Now, we need to understand what ReLU is all about. ReLU is nothing but rectified linear unit. This is the most commonly preferred and used activation methods. How does it work? Very simple. I will ask a question. Is there a rule that all the activation function must transform the input to be between 0 and 1? We have transformed that to 0 and 1 in the sigmoid. Is it mandatory that we need to go that way only? No, not necessarily. ReLU is different. How does it work? It transforms the input to 0 or the input value itself. Remember, it transforms it to 0 or the input value itself. How does it work? 
when the input value is negative or it is equal to 0. When it is less than 0 or equal to 0, it will make it as 0. When it is less than 0 or equal to 0, we make it as 0. If it is greater than 0, we then take the output as nothing but the input. The input itself gets transformed to output. You can see the simple pseudo code that we have written here. If x is less than or equal to 0, I return 0. Else, return x. That's it. More positive than neuron is, more activator it is. That's it. We are going to build the CMM model in the next session, which is going to be very interesting as well as intuitive. Stay tuned. If you have any questions, suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the comment section. I'll be able to answer you. Thank you.